Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21. Jerry was live worldwide. Hey, hey. What's up, family? What's going on? It's Positive Power Double XI. Christian Media, and you're listening to Pass the Time with Dr. Paul Kelly. What's up, Dr. Kelly? Indeed. What's up, sir? What's going on, Batman? How you feeling, sir, in Charm City? We're getting snow, sir. Snow. Oh, hey, man, this would be a good time for the Batman to show his Natural powers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's up, family? What's going on, people out there? Share this file. It's past this time with Dr. Paul Kelly. You ready, Dr. Kelly? Yes, sir. We are ready, producer. Pray. Uh oh, Dr. Kelly, we you dropped on me, so you still there? Yes, sir. I'm still here, Doctor. Okay. You got me, Doc? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, we get the we get northeast Great. getting hit with a little snow, some cold weather. We got some zero temperatures coming out the north. I heard we're gonna be seeing twenty three degrees in Florida. So definitely around uh this whole um DMV area is, is gonna be seeing four degrees in the morning. So that's a update for weather <laughs> in Charm City. All right. Wow. Yeah. Hey, Amen. What's special on uh, Jerry Royce Live? Hey, man, before we bring our exclusive guest, guest on, sir. Oh, man. I just I just got off uh, the show, Testified Tuesday, with Felicia Joseph. You know, she's one of the artists that we play on the show. She actually had uh, sat in for Reef for a couple of weeks, did a splendid job, and uh, we love having her here. Positive Power. I had a chance to share the platform with Tina Superwoman Hobson. So we had a chance to do a little bit of Testify. All right, what's going on? Oh, Awesome, man. We Well, you know we got a brand new show, the Lakeisha Mosey Show. Uh, she's on radio, but she's also helping me out with field work. Well, we got a couple events coming up in Charm City. We got, we have a CD release party with Odyssey. Uh, John Graham's group is going to be here in the Baltimore area, downtown around the Hopkins, uh, John Hopkins Complex, uh, where a lot of artists going to be there. We're going to be there interviewing and and then it captures some live performances with those guys. And then we have, a, we have I think, on March, uh, I think it's 13th, second, second weekend March, Anthony Avery's releasing a brand new uh, project, and we're going to be there. Um, we're going to be interviewing. We're going to be vendoring. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff, meeting people, shaking hands. And, um, and then this past weekend, we had a big ad campaign for some life coaches came from Arkansas here to Charm City to hang out with the Batman. And we got a chance to, uh, they got here to, they came in here to the studio to work on their, their ad campaigns for social media. So that was a lot of fun. So shout out to Dr. Terrell Jenkins and the Life Coach School of Arkansas. And they be back again at uh, the end of March. So we're looking forward to seeing the, um, the new graduates that's coming out of his program. And also, um... Uh, we're going to be back in um, production with um, Gospel Music Magazine with Summer. A lot of people got a chance to see her on the air with her with her two sons, who are very talented young men. And, um, man, we actually got phone calls on that show. <laughs> that was remarkable. And we just aired that one wow. on Facebook. It'll be airing in DeKalb, Georgia. And, uh, this matter of fact, I, maybe tomorrow. You may see it tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow night. Uh, Gospel Music Magazine airs in DeKalb, Georgia, so you can check that out on channel uh, 25, I think it is, or go to their website at www.decab25.com. And um, of course, we got all of our shows kicking off. We got a brand new show on tonight with Shalonda, um, inspirational uh, treasures come on at 10. Check it right after this show, and then we got Fire with Ron E. Jefferson, Fire Gospel Experience. If you follow her show. And don't forget about Fridays, y'all. Y'all got to join us on Fridays with Next Man Up, Late Night with Jervis Live and Paula G. And then at 12 o'clock, we got the Christian Party Line with the ladies of radio. So there's always new guests, 
always great discussions, so you got to come out and join us. Amen, Doc. So that's our updates at Positive Power Double XI. Amen, amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Amen to pass this time right here on Positive Power on Jerry Roy's Live. I got a question out there for those who are tuning in tonight before we bring our exclusive guests on. Amen. Can y'all feel the power? We can feel the power. Robot, can y'all show Batman some love? Humble, young man, humble. Woo! This is Jarrell Golden of Holy Ground Music Group, and you are listening to Jerry Royce Live, worldwide podcast in Charm City. A quick question. Can you feel the power? Yeah, we can feel the power. <laughs> My man, <laughs> Jarrell Golden. Man, robot. Yes, sir. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. The robot is our partner. Once again, we thank you all, everyone, for tuning in to Pass This Time International Bible College Teaching Ministry right here on Jerry Roy's Live. I am your host, Dr. Paul Kelly, the president and dean of Pass This Time International Bible College, where your spiritual education is affordable, convenient, and quality. It's time to leave your spiritual legacy for those of you who are, have a desire to uh, go on to a higher spiritual education, it's time to start leaving a spiritual legacy. Open enrollment is right now at PastorsTime.com. Our producer will leave you some information, amen, or, or contact us at 580-583-5181. Let us go into prayer right after we do a prayer. We're going to bring in our exclusive guest. Uh, I am excited about this couple, a powerful couple, amen. Right after this prayer, join us, and we're going to bring them right on. Father God, we thank you. We thank you, O oh God, for what you're doing in the lives of all of your people, O oh God. O oh God, we thank you, Lord, for not only what you're doing in the people, but in the lives of your people, but God, we ask you to bless this nation. Bless those, Father, who are calling on you, O oh God, and Bless positive power. Bless, bless the whole positive power platform as a whole as we send, amen, the prayers, amen, send out prayers of the righteous. Oh, God, we ask you to touch us. Touch us, God, and bless the guests on tonight, God, amen, the canons as they come on to share some of their spiritual wisdom with us. This is our prayer. We thank you, O oh God, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. And Doc, we, don't forget, Doc, before you get yes, started, uh, don't forget about the people can start dropping their prayers requests for the sick and the, the, the uh, sick and the shut in. Any special request, just drop Hallelujah. it right here on Facebook, and we make sure you get it. Amen. Absolutely. Praise God. Thank you, producer Jerry Royce. Yes, amen. As a reminder, we are past this time, amen. We'll be taking prayer requests. If you look around on tonight, before I bring you on this powerful couple, just look at the nation tonight. Just look at, look around. We're opening up prayer requests right here on Pastor's Time. So start sending in those prayer requests right now for your ministries, the sick and study in, your job, families, the nation as a whole. Just, just send in those right there in your chat box, and we're going to pray over those at the end of the show. Praise God. So y'all begin. I have a few prayer requests already, amen, throughout the, the weekend, amen. So we're going to ask you all to just start putting in the chat box right now, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, amen, I have the honor to bring it on a, a powerful couple, amen, and I am excited, amen, to bring on Worship Unleashed, Pastor yes. Ted. Hallelujah. They ready. Amen. <laughs> come on. Come on, Pastor. First, yes, first lady. Amen. Bless Praise you. God, Pastor. Thanks for having Bless us on. You. We're, we're so Hallelujah. grateful to be on your show tonight. Praise God. Well, we're happy to have you. Can y'all feel the power? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so Hallelujah. much. Hallelujah. Praise to be God, here. Pastor. Who are the canons? Talk to us, Amen. And we're gonna just we're gonna tag this topic tonight. We're gonna just we're just gonna make a spiritual topic, Pastor and First Lady, if you all don't mind, sure. Amen. Okay. Prophets, prophets in our fruits. That's taken out of Matthew seven fifteen to twenty, and we'll kind of discuss that throughout the show. Y'all know the fruits. You know the the fruits are known, Amen, by the character that God gives them. Spiritual fruits, prophets in our mm-hmm. fruits. So. We're just going to talk a little bit about that throughout the show. But tell us, who are, who are the canons, Pastor? Amen. Well, Ted, talk to us. Well, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> I love your spirit already. Man, well, you know what? We're just uh, servants of the Lord uh, based out of 
Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, which we live and do business in uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, but we pastor uh, a, a church in Los Angeles, California, uh, called True Rock Church, Rock church yes. uh, 1725 West Florence, West Florence, where Western meets Florence Avenue. And uh, this is our eighth Sunday pastoring uh, a little church there in the city of Los Angeles and my native uh, land, as it were, and the Lord, uh, after 20, 25 years of uh, being away from Los Angeles, God has called me back to pastor in the same neighborhood that I grew up in, up the street from the elementary school that I went to, and around the corner from where my parents pastored 40 years ago. Uh, so wow. how, 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 how God works uh, is, is we, you know, we have plans, but God has greater plans and uh, we're just following the plan of the Lord. And uh, so we're excited about it. We uh, do conduct business in, in the city of Las Vegas and have been here for almost 17 years. And uh, we have a family-owned business mm -hmm. as well as in – then the Lord gave us this uh, this, this tour Worship that, Unleashed, that's yeah. going around the country called Worship Unleashed. And it's bringing <laughs> God back to the concert stage. Uh, for I think the last 15, 20 years, we've kind of been personality-driven where – it's been about people instead of being about God. And so we, uh, the Lord gave it to us about three years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been doing a post-stellar show, uh, the Stellar Ooh. Awards, and uh, we've housed names, such names as Dr. Marvin Sapp, Leandra Johnson, Jermaine, uh, Jermaine Dolly, Dietrich Hatton, yeah. Ruth LaAntra, FM2 and Intentional. Yeah. Uh, and many more. Last call. They last call. Last call was yeah. with us. And uh, we want to give a shout out to Pastor uh, Apostle Varel Howard, Howard yes. uh, who has made all of this possible. We've been able to go to Barbados uh, and getting ready Ooh. to drop our show this Saturday on the, the Impact, Impact Network. Network. Yes. Uh, and it will be this Saturday, uh, February, the 2nd. February the 2nd, 930 West Coast and 1230 a.m. East on the Coast. East Coast, yes. and uh, we're excited. The Lord said to us at the onslaught at the beginning of this, he said, bring me back. As they brought the Ark of the Covenant back, he said, bring yes. me back to the concert yes. stage. Uh, and because it's not about personality. The only personality no. that should be worshipped at any concert, on any concert stage, is the personality of the Holy Ghost and Jesus yes. Christ yes. himself. And that's what our endeavor is to do. Yes. So far, so good. Four cities later, yes. from Las Vegas to uh, Phoenix to Portland, Portland. and uh, to Barbados. Yes. And uh, oh, this Lord, year, yeah. the last year of the Stellar Awards, we're, we're hosting again and having a great concert with the Walls Group, Erica Campbell, oh. and uh, many more. Yes. March the 30th. Hallelujah. March the 30th, the day after Stellar March Weekend. And we experience the presence of the Lord every single time. Our, our, and, you know, we're a five-star operation. We pride ourselves on being a five-star operation. Um, our artists are paid all the time before when they walk in the door. And uh, we're successful at what we do. But the bottom line is we tell all of our artists that it's all about God. If God chooses to interrupt the program at any time, and he has, we allow him to do what he wants to do. Right. It's not Won't by might it. or by power, yeah. but by his spirit, saith the Lord. So that's a little bit about who the right. canons are at Worship more, Unleashed. That's what makes it more than a concert. It's a worship experience. It is absolutely yeah. no concert yeah. but a worship experience. And uh, we've yeah. just seen God do great things in our in, in our midst, he will do it. Pastor, you, Pastor, you are a third uh, generation, a man of gospel preacher, sir. Pre -K. Yes, yes, sir. My, my yes, grandparents, sir. my parents, and myself. Uh, yeah, and I have aunts and uncles around the country who pastor to great churches, and uh, yes, I come from a great heritage of Apostolic Pentecostal Church of God in Christ. <laughs> you know, a little Duh. bit of all of, but, but Pentecostalism. Uh, but we're not denominational. We we we're just uh, about Jesus, not mm -hmm. apostolic or cogic yeah, yeah. or institutionalized religion. Man, we we are pointing okay, people to the cross, people. and uh, the Lord gave it to us to just point people to the cross and uh, let Him love on them, man. And we're just kingdom. You know, there's a difference between church Thank and you. kingdom, and we choose to be kingdom. Amen. Let's talk about that for a few minutes. Amen. Uh, yes, sir. You know that church kingdom. Praise God. Just real quickly, Pastor. Just want to. Uh, this is for you and First Lady, which one of you choose to take it. When you mention that church and kingdom, amen, we know church is in our heart. 
amen, in the kingdom mm-hmm. of God, amen. Remember, remember the Bible says, seek you first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Yes. And all yes. these things be shall be added. Will be added. Oh, they, y'all going to preach tonight, amen. My Hallelujah, man. You got him going. Amen. Well, how, how do you prepare your congregation for kingdom building to be uh, aware of, you know, you know, sin lurks. You know, the Bible says sin lurks. They worry. How do you prepare your, especially as pastors and, and, and uh, ministers, how do you prepare your congregation for those who may come, you know, with a smooth walk and a smooth talk? You know, the, the, uh, yeah. well, the do, do I need says, to go ahead and say it, Pastor? Do I need to go ahead and say it? Say it, sir. Say it, sir. <laughs> the sheep, amen. The wolves dressed in sheep clothes. How, how do you yeah, prepare Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, uh, you're going to have those. They'll always be amongst you. They will be there. Uh, but we, you know, I, I'm so grateful uh, that one thing about God, even if the wolves, the Bible said where sin abound, grace Come did on. much more abound. Uh, and we're, we're a Bible-based, grace-driven church. Uh, and, you know, grace is not a license to sin, uh, but and, but Jesus is the advocate in takes we do. Uh, but the bottom line is uh, when you – grace is – uh, the component of what's given to you because of the blood of Jesus that was at the cross, yes. uh, that the mercy uh, that is new every morning. He says, let us come boldly before the throne and that we may obtain that uh, in the time of yes. trouble. And we've all needed it at one point in time in our lives. And we need it daily. That's yes. why he gives us brand new mercy every yes. single yes. day and the blood of Jesus, not to be abused, but to be used as needed. And yes. sometimes we all need the grace and the blood of Jesus Christ apply to our lives and we understand that uh god has given us jesus christ when he shed his blood over two thousand years ago uh the devil is so stupid and i always i said this sunday in my sermon <laughs> it, had he known what putting jesus on the cross was going to do for he eternity he yeah. never would have put him on the cross so <laughs> yeah. one thing i want to minister to people that are out there that are going through struggles trials oh. tribulations and we all have them yes. and we all go through them none of us are exempt from that but guess what if you're on the cross mm-hmm. right now yes. and i feel come god on. now come on come on it, <laughs> it, it, for every crucifixion yes. there is a resurrection yes. i don't know why i'm yes. going here but somebody needs to know Good. wherever yes. whoever i'm talking to yes. that wherever you have been in life and we have all been on the cross on, because on, the cross was designed to humiliate yes, it was just designed to kill you yes. it, was a, it was to make you a spectacle yes, but yes. if you are going through some public storms and your pain went public come trust on. me if you are on the cross and you've been crucified come on, come in on, this thing on. we call church trust and believe your resurrection yes, yes. you got a third day come yes my god yes. I'm somebody yes. needs to know right come now on, wherever on. you've been whatever sin you've committed where sin did abound grace did much more abound Yes. And God has not forgotten about you. And he that has yes. begun a good work Thank in you God. shall yes. be faithful to com- on, complete com- perform it to yes. the day of Jesus Christ. If God started it, come he on. is destined to finish it. Yes. No matter where you've been and what yes. you've done, God has blood and you ain't got enough yes. sin and that yes. he ain't got enough blood to cover you. Yes. Look at that. Wow. Look at that, Man, doctor. I, I'm on now. Pastor, you on fire. Lady, lady, First Lady Michelle, I, I need you to go on and get the emergency water truck and get just just, just get go ahead and, and just cool it off a little bit. I got to hold them down right now. <laughs> oh, it's, well, it's the grace. But, you know, it's yes, the grace. Sir. The grace yes. message, and it's not about you yes. sitting on hyper grace, as it were. Come on. It is about realizing that the grace of God is so on our lives. Mm-hmm. And when you realize that God, what could have happened didn't happen. Mm-hmm. What should have happened didn't happen. When God covered you, when yes. you when you messed it up and you blew it, Come and on. God Come covered on. you anyway, you extend that grace to others yes. when yes. they mess up and they and they make mistakes. Mm-hmm. And we have turned. And the sad part about it is we've turned the church into a country club for good people, Ooh, but. Actually, it's just a hospital, the hospital for a bunch of messed up sick on, folks. And we've got to open the doors, lead the people to the cross, yes, and let the people know that the cross is for, for everybody. Yes. And if the blood don't work for one, it don't work for nobody. On, now, and we on. all have access to come Jesus on. Christ because yes. all have sinned come and come short of the glory of God. Yes, but sir. someone needs to know tonight, no matter where come you've on, been or how come bad on. you've been, come no on. matter what you've done, God has grace. And Come mercy for your life, and his blood still works. Still works. Glory to God. 
Glory to God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in tonight on Pastor wow. Time, I'm with this dynamite couple, though, amen. Worship Unleashed, Pastor Ted, amen, and First Lady Michelle Cannon. Hallelujah, amen. And we're going to ask everyone tonight, nation, start sending in your prayer requests, amen, because we're going to have a, we're going to pray over your prayer requests for those sick and shut in. Thank and I want the pastor to just stay around with us God, at the God, end God, of this, God, amen. God, God. First Thank whole you. glory to God. Amen. I received that, Pastor. God God has a spirit of gift of interpreting in Dr. Kelly. I receive, amen. God has something great in you, sir. Amen. First glory. Lady Michelle Cannon, amen. Yes, you sir. are a cake charge business woman, mother, wife, amen. And I'm just reading from your anointed, amen, yes, my old sir. wife your personality, and you work alongside your husband while strategically do, yeah. balancing the career, family, ministry. Hey, Amen. I just want you to help some first ladies out there, help, help, help some pastors' wives. How do you balance that? How do you balance, amen, the mother, amen, the, the, the family wife, keeping that house together, and the ministry? Amen. Because you know you have to be prepared for that because there are a lot of bad fruits out there that are ready to destroy a family. Talk to right, just right. not only the first, not only the first ladies. Just talk to those out well, there just in general. In, in general alone, well, um, you know what? We try to be uh, as transparent as possible. You know, people just want real folk that go through real issues, and they want to know that you know what I can. You know what you went through that, and 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 you can be delivered from that. And, and you know, I see you making it. I see you making it. And that's what we really, really try to focus on. Um, even with my family, we're not perfect, but we always say that we're solid. solid. We are absolutely yeah. solid. Um, we go through just like everybody else, but we work on it. We do things intentionally. Um, uh, you know what? We still date. We we still date. We we're intentional Hallelujah. about everything that we do. That we do. And again, we don't always get it right, but then we acknowledge the part that we don't get right, and we work on it. We master it, and then we move on um, to something else. And and that's a part of that's a part of growth. That's a part of ministry. Um, even you know um, you know exactly like you said, learning how to say I'm sorry. You know you know that's you know that was hard for me to do. I'm just gonna say that. You know <laughs> you know it's hard you know to acknowledge when you're wrong, but when you acknowledge when you're wrong, you just get it right. You get, you get it right, and it makes even the better for the making up. Um, and let me just go back just a little bit on, you know, just being able to balance everything. You know, it took me a long time to um, to go back to school, you know, and it's never too late. Uh, somebody right, needs right. to know that. There's a, there's, there's a lady out there that somebody needs to know that it is never too late. You're never too old. You're never too old. When God says it's over, when you stop breathing, that's when it's too late. But as long as you have breath in your body, that you can still move forward. You can still go back and get your education. It's like I said, I took a break when I graduated from high school. You know how you Absolutely. take that break and you say, I'm going to find myself. Well, then, and after finding myself 24 years later, I'm like, okay, I need to find myself back in school so I can get that paper, you know, behind yeah. my name. And, you know, so I can move forward. That paper means a lot. And it was never too late in my 30s, in my 30s and in my 40s, mm. going back ah. to get that degree. It meant so much. And it was so, there was so much gratification that I felt when I crossed that line with you through the University of Phoenix. And I'm like, I did this, and it just gives you the drive to even more to go forward and, 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 and to keep continuing on and on, and it's never too late. And I never use that late. with even with my kids. Even, you know, it's never too late for anybody. It's never too late. And so, you know, God just continues to bless us, you know, over and over and over again. But, you know, just balance not, is not easy, and you have to work at it. You have to be intentional about balancing marriage, balancing ministry, balancing children, balancing, um, you know, just, you know, just work. It, you have have to be intentional about everything that you do. Hallelujah. So, um, Praise yes, God. Yes. And we Hallelujah. always say this. We always say this after, you know, uh, 27 years married, uh -huh. 30 years together. Uh -huh. uh, love wow. doesn't just happen. It doesn't just happen. It, yeah. you, you have to you have to love on purpose. That's absolutely. You have to love intentionally. That's what the intentional. Yeah. yeah. You have to love intentionally, and you love on purpose. Yeah. Uh, and you make the time. You take the time. Right. Uh, and you make it work. And right. and and sometimes we blow it. Sometimes we don't get it right. 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 But we've learned an operative word, and that is, I'm sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm wrong. I right. I could get I could do better. Right. And uh, we we come together, man. And then sometimes. We just go hang out. Now, I don't know how you feel and how come on, religious come on. you are, but sometimes <laughs> come we on, just dog. go hang out. We, go, we, we hang go out. Stay, we go to movies. We go to a movie. Yeah. Uh, we take a ride up the, up the, up the 
the California coast on uh-huh. the beautiful sunset night, Come and on. we we don't turn on the, the whinings and and Kirk Franklin. Right. We turn on Come Al on. Green. Luther, you got to yeah. date again. <laughs> Come on, you got to learn how to Hallelujah. date again and right. love again. That's right, and uh, and that's what makes it work. Keep it fine. Todd Hall, who is my covering, Bishop Todd Hall, yes. told me a few weeks ago at lunch. He said, he said, make it work by any, any means, means necessary. necessary. Yes. By any means necessary, make it work. Yeah. By any means necessary. The thief comes. John ten ten says this. The thief comes to steal, to kill, kill, to destroy. Jesus said, I am come that you may have life and have it, and more, have abundantly. it more abundantly. Right. There's another translation that right. says, I am come that you may have a life. Yes. And have it more abundantly. See, so many church people, we just engulf ourselves with church and afternoon service and annual days and at the church all week long. Mm-hmm. And we forget to have a life. Right, uh, right. We forget to go Hallelujah. and smell the roses. We right, forget right. to go walk along the, the, the shore and right. feed the ducks and have fun That's and enjoy right. life. Right. And you, we forget all of that. Right. And then when you forget that, you miss each other. You can miss each other right. in this yes. life with yes. bills and business and doing everything. Right. Sometimes That's you got to right. take the time. Take to, the time. Make absolutely. the time. Time, make it work right. by, any by any means, means necessary. necessary. If it means cut That's your phone right. off, it means let some friends go. Whatever it means you got to do, right. you got to do to make it work. Absolutely. And uh, that's what we try Absolutely. to do. Exactly. We, we haven't to. mastered it, but we manage what we have yet, yet to master. To master. Absolutely. That's the key, managing. Amen. Yes. Praise God. That's the key. <laughs> yes. Amen. We're going we're gonna to manage to take one quick song and we're going to come okay. back. Amen. And I want to hear, I want to hear a little bit, amen, uh, uh, just a little bit about your 1980, uh, 1988 pastor McDonald's, uh, gospel fest. Amen. Yes, How God. Fest, yes. Ooh, yes. Amen. And then we're going to close you all out with some final words. And then we're going to go into our, uh, our prayer request for the most part, but uh, right after song break, we're on the other side. Amen. I want to hear about the 1988 McDonald gospel fest. Sure. Uh, sure. And, and as well as Love first lady, uh, want to hear some more words uh, on the First Lady, her words of wisdom. Praise God. Amen. We'll be right back after a quick song break. Hey, Doc, you better go ahead. We uh, kind of jammed up over here a little bit, so you may have to keep Please the show going. You are Can you feel the man? Oh, there we go. There we go.
Worldwide Podcast. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto me. Amen. Praise God. Welcome back. Praise God. Welcome back to Pastor's Time International Teaching Ministry. We're here with, amen, Pastor Ted and First Lady Michelle Cannon. Amen. Are y'all having fun tonight, Pastor? We absolutely are. Yes, we're having a great time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For having us on. Praise God. Pastor, Pastor Ted, amen. Talk to us uh, a few minutes, sir, uh, before we go into our prayer request, amen, about the McDonald's Gospel Fest, how God uh, moved you into that area, amen, to uh, be on stage with, uh, you know, great, like uh, the Rance Allens. Talk to us, sir. Yeah, yeah. Well, Rance Allen, Daryl Coley was on that night, the late Daryl Coley, mm-hmm. that legendary Daryl Coley yeah. uh, was legendary. on, and uh, I, I was able to... Uh, take a, a little choir back in 1988 called the Teddy Cannon Singers, Teddy Cannon Singers. <laughs> Teddy Cannon Singers. <laughs> and uh, we went. We made it all the way to the uh, finals, and uh, I took about 26 people, and uh, and it was the first time I ever uh, stood on the stage at the shrine in front of 6,500 people, and uh, sang a song that I rearranged called Love Lifted Me. Yeah. We didn't win, but, uh, you know, to be on the stage with, 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 with great names like Daryl Coley and many others uh, through my cousin, uh, who's another legendary artist out of the Coldry Way Church of God in Christ, uh, Michael McCurtis, who, who uh, created that opportunity for me and opened up doors for me to be able to do that as a young man in my early 20s. Uh, to, it was just the first big major thing I'd ever done, and, and it was just awesome to, to yeah. do. I wrote a song uh, r- shortly after that called Baby's Cry, uh, and Rance wow. Allen recorded it on his Phenomenon album. And uh, so that was just an awesome thing in my early years. Praise God. That's, that is that is remarkable, very remarkable. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. First Lady, First Lady Michelle, yeah. you went on to, I heard you earlier, you went on to further your education at Grand Canyon University. Yes, you studied also theology. Theology, yeah, you're yes. Theology, amen. Proving to yourself, amen, as well as the others, that no matter where you are in life, First Lady, it's never too late. I heard you, sister. I was listening to you. It is it's never too late to pursue your late. dreams. Amen. I want you to leave some words of wisdom, amen, out there with those and just give some shout outs to those who help you along the way. Some words of wisdom to those, amen, who have an aspiration to go on and study. And this is the key, right. amen. And Pastor, Pastor, I'm going to save you for last, sir, amen, for some words of wisdom. Praise God. Yes. But First Lady, just, just in, your own, in your own way, uh, just take your time and just just help someone out there realize, amen, that leaving a spiritual legacy is important, amen, and then just share with us who are some of those you would like to contribute for your success, amen, to encourage you is never too late. Right. Well, leaving a spiritual legacy is not only important, but leaving a natural legacy for your children is also as equally as important. And um, God has just impressed on my heart that someone needs to know out there that you can make it, yeah. you can live, you can love, you can laugh again. And you know what? It, it, you get up, dust yourself off, and, and, and move forward. Move forward. Whatever is behind you, it's behind you. And if God before you, he's more than the world against you. And somebody needs to know that that you you can absolutely make it you can make it um the you know what i just uh, attribute a lot of of what i've gone through and a lot of what i'm going through um just first and foremost uh my late mother um and my late grandmother um you know they instilled you know, a lot of things um, within me just to keep moving forward um no matter what you do keep moving forward and my late mother-in-law also and then I hope I have a lot to contribute also to my husband um, as well. You know, you have to have somebody in your corner. You have to have that person that believes in what you do, and that can. You have to have somebody to push you, push you to keep pushing you until until you succeed, until you make it. But somebody needs to know that it's never. And I can't I can't stress that enough that it is never too late. No matter who counted you out, God counts you in, and so it's never too late to 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 
to move on and, you know, get that paper behind you, get that education so so you have something to do. You know what, um, just going through theology, um, you know, when you, when you think you know the Bible, let me just, this is a slightly funny story, but, um, you know, it, it wasn't easy. It was absolutely not easy at all. When you think you know it all, and I'm like, wow, these are just things that I've never, you know, it, it gives you a new perspective uh, and a new outlook when you when you go through the Bible, when you go through the book, you absolutely. go through the Word, but um, you're going through those Christian values, but you see it on a different level. You don't see it through your 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 apostolic eyes. You don't see it through your Church of God in Christ mm-hmm. eyes. You don't see it through your Baptist eyes, but you just see it, um, you just see it through the eyes of this is Christianity, this is, okay, wow, this is, I got this whole scripture, and it means something totally different, and so um, it was, you know, it's absolutely amazing that how God just impressed on me to, to, you know, to go to school, and especially um, theology, out of all things, because I started out, just with my education, just go back a little bit, I started out with, um, in, in, in human services, you know, um, servicing um, individuals that have intellectual disabilities, that is an absolute passion of mine. Um, and then I went over into human resources, still working for under human services, um, but into human resources. And then to furthermore, then the business that um, that we're in um, is also focusing on um, individuals with um, not only intellectual disabilities, but, um, but um, also behavioral issues that are going on, you know, um, Depression is huge uh, in, in, in the body of Christ. You never know. I mean, it's it's just absolutely amazing how what I see, you know, on a daily basis, just even going through social media, going through the news, whatever, what have you, of how many people are actually taking their lives that serve and that preach this preach the gospel. And so that needs to be that part. It needs to be ministered to when you pour out and pour out and pour out. Well, who's pouring back in? And so we absolutely have to make sure that the people that serve that we serve or that we serve under that we're absolutely pouring back into them. They give so much out, but they absolutely have to have somebody to pour back into them. So that's what I've learned um, through that. And then now even going um, with and even going through ministry, I just have to, um, I apply what I've learned um, through school and I just, I apply that through Christianity. Um, and, but somebody, there's a, there's a young lady out there. There's a first lady out there that needs to know that, that yes. you can make it, that you can absolutely make it. Um, we have a lot, we, we, you know, on our shoulders, we wear a lot, but we, you, there, there's absolutely you can absolutely make it. I can't stress that enough. That you know, God is a restore. There, God is an absolute restore. And dust yes, yourself yes. off, whatever mistakes you've made, whatever you've gone through. God doesn't hold it over your head, and you have no. There is therefore now no condemnation. God does not indict you. You're invited into the body of Christ, and you keep moving forward. There is somebody out there that will that will also that you that will be ministered to through what you have gone through. Yes. So you got to get up again. You got to get up again, gotcha. and you got you got to go through. And so that that's what I have um, to to anybody. Absolutely, yes. Remarkable, very remarkable. Bless you. Thank you. Bless Thank you. you. Bless you, ma'am. God, God has a higher calling on to you uh, as well, a much higher thank calling. You. Pastor, thank you for being with us tonight, amen. Thank yes, you sir, so much, uh, doctor. We're, we're you must. Yes, sir, and we, we're honored to have you, sir, amen. Uh, can y'all feel the power? Y'all would say I can feel the power. <laughs> I feel it in the room. Love, love that mercy. Hallelujah, the power. <laughs> amen. Pastor Ted, amen. You you shared with us that you were a PK, so am I. Amen. You, yeah. Your journey started at the ripe age of four years, boy, four years old, boy. That's young. That's going way back to your uh-huh. grandma, a pastor. Olivia Cannon laid hands yes, on you, bro. I got it all yes, right here sir. in my hand. Yeah. I like to stay, yeah. stay to the script, sir. I don't like to move off script, amen, because you all have an anointing and remarkable, amen, bio. Praise God. You said you said in your in your uh in your bio, you said uh your life is dedicated to living an example through transparency. Leave us some words of wisdom, sir. And I'm gonna I'm I'm just elated, elated, amen, just to have you just to pray, amen, over our sick and shut in. Praise God. Yes. My producer is gonna post God. he's gonna we're gonna leave enough time at the end, amen. But I'm gonna bring you on at the end, amen, to kind of just go ahead and pray and bless us and bless us over that. Sure. My heart is just sure. to that, sir. You pray in your own way. I'm I'm just going to look at, I'm just going to uh, make sure our requests are in, those, those okay. prayer requests are in, and I'm going to call them out. 
Praise God. All right. Amen. So but Real just good. leave us some words of wisdom. Leave us some words well, of wisdom. Well, you know, I, I just like like uh, uh, Lady Michelle just alluded to, um, our our whole premise, I think our substratum is uh, risk recovery, uh, restoration, and uh, rebuilding. And, and I believe that that's kind of a reoccurring theme tonight, that people need to know out there that uh, that have made some mistakes. I'm a preacher's kid, and uh, I made my mistakes. I, I did some things that I'm not proud of. There's some things that, uh, because sometimes you live in the fishbowl. You, you know, you have to be saved when you ain't saved, mm-hmm. you know, as a preacher's kid. And, you know, they say we're the worst ones, <laughs> you, you know, but uh, we, because we, we live in that fishbowl where you, you, you've got to perform. You, you have to do this and that and the other. Uh, and, and they, they meant well, but they, we didn't have the tools that we have now uh, in terms of understanding uh, really where we were mentally uh, or, or, or emotionally mm-hmm. and, and not deal with certain things uh, and just, you know, kind of not, maybe not even talking about things that, that we should have uh, talked to or been talked to. Mm-hmm. So it caused negatives in our lives, uh, negative yeah. behaviors where we had to depend on the grace of God and the blood of Jesus and uh, kind of learning things through trial and error, yeah. uh, being a preacher's kid. I'm going to minister to uh, some preacher's kids tonight uh, that may be feeling the same way I felt many days. Um, you know, uh, I never heard my father say, son, I love you or lay his hand on me. Uh, and to this day, uh, it affects me and, and I have to, uh, 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 depend on the blood of Jesus and sometimes talking to someone about it. Yeah. Uh, but it affects me to this day. It's not that he didn't love me and he worked, he was a pastor, but you know, he was from that era where, you know, girls were girls and men were men. And so people didn't, uh, you know, we, you know, they were, you know, boy, get up and go, go. I, you know, they, they figured that if, if you had food on the table and the roof over your head, that means I love you. But sometimes uh, wow. you needed, wanted to hear that. And uh, mm. I never heard him. And I took care of my father. We took care of him for four years of his life uh, until the, uh, he died in our home, matter of fact. And uh, mm. I never heard those words or him to affirm me. Uh, so through trial and error, uh, God had to be the father that I, that, that I, I didn't have. Sometimes you can be present, but not present. Yeah. And, and wow. uh, there's so many Woo. kids that are, there's so many kids that have fathers who are there, but they're not there. They're present, Let's do but that. they're not present. And, and uh, so I, hmm? I want, let's do that. Let's lift those who feel like they're families. Yeah. And with there, I want you to go ahead and do that, Pastor. Ho- I yeah. want you to grab a man, Mrs. Michelle, First Lady Michelle, by the hand, and I sure. want you to begin to lift up a man, Pastor Stephen Turner, recovering from high blood pressure, diabetes, wow. healing, loss of yeah. eyesight. Yeah. A man, go ahead and lift him up, a man. And before you do that, where can we find you all, real quickly? We got two minutes, a man. I want you to lift us up in the nation prayer. You can find us on Canon Entertainment and Promotions on Facebook. You can go to YouTube and um, look at us, um, find us there. You can also go on Instagram under worship underscore unleashed. Woo, like that. Amen. Pastor First Lady, we love you. You are a part Thank of the. You so much. You are you you're part of this mm-hmm. this positive power family. I can feel something, Thank a connection. Know. Amen. Lift us up, Thank sir. You. Thank you all for joining us. This is nationwide. Thank this you. is all over the world, sir. Amen. Lift us up, Pastor, and lift up Pastor Stephen Turner as well, and also Pastor's Time Ministry, our Bible College. Amen. We under your we under your your prayer, sir. Father, we we just come before you tonight. In the precious name of Jesus, uh, lifting up Pastor uh, Stephen Turner uh, and, and the Bible College, as well as those multiplied thousands, if not millions, who are listening to us tonight. I, I, I'm not there, and I don't know where, but, Father, I send you there to touch, to heal to set free and to deliver someone that is going through a depression, someone that lost a loved one. We have one of our staff members 
who uh, have an uncle they pulled the plug on today, Ro, and we lift up her family and lift her up in the name of Jesus. Those that have lost loved ones, those that are going through mind problems and mental issues, family, emotional uh, trauma, uh, molestation, whatever, I put the blood of Jesus and apply the blood of Jesus to their life today, that they will be delivered and set free by the power of God. That what we can't do, you yes. can do. After we've done all we can, you oh, will really? do all we can't. Yes. And I believe it in Jesus' name. We stand on the word of God that says, for my God shall supply all my needs according yes. to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Yes. I confess and proclaim it and decree and declare tonight that you shall be healed, delivered, yes. And set free, you will not die in your storm, but you shall live in the name of Jesus. We 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 proclamate tonight that you shall live again, love again, laugh again. The enemy is under your feet. Let God arise, and all of his enemies be scattered. In Jesus' name, get up from where you are. Dust yourself off. Live again. Believe again. Dust that dream off. Dust that song off. Dust that dream. You will not die without your destiny. I prophesy destiny. I prophesy to some young man, some young woman who wrote a song five years ago. Dust it off, and God is getting ready to put your name in life. And I will make your name great for the glory of God. And we bless you now for even my brother, the host today, that God, you will supply every need, make meet the need and make the way. And I I decree it done in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Oh, amen. Oh, Lord, my God, what an awesome wonder. For consider all, oh God, the words thy hand have made. Oh, God, we ask, God, that you hear the servant's prayer. Go and touch Kimmy Robinson. Remove cancer right now, oh, God. Yes. Tina Hobson. Remove lung diseases, God. Touch Nicole, amen. She's suffering over a lost uncle right now. Oh, God, Father, go somewhere down in the Elizabeth Hospital and and touch Sister Jerlene, oh, God. Oh, Father, touch the cannons on tonight. Touch them. Thank you, Lord. We receive. We receive. Oh God, Father, we receive. This is our prayer, oh God. Oh, we yes. knew that you're powerful, God, because we see the stars and we hear the rolling thunder, oh God. Oh, God. Yes. We hear the power, God, throughout the universe, oh God. Yes. Glory to God. Glory this to God. Man. This is Thank my you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Savior Lord. God, to see how Thank great you. thou art, how great thou art. Bless Gary Roy. This is our time. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank oh, God, I feel, I feel First Lady Michelle, oh, God, a oh, new ministry is it's getting ready to burst. A new ministry ah, is getting hallelujah. ready to burst. A new ministry is getting ready to burst. I don't hallelujah. know what it is, amen, but God is getting ready to move you to a higher height. Pastor Ted, oh, God, God said you're going to begin to write new music, new music, new music, new music, new music, new music, new music Jesus. none ever heard of. In Jesus' name, wow. we pray. Wow. Amen. We it. Amen. 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 We thank amen. you, family, amen. for time. Amen. We ask you all to stay, amen, for our next show, amen, that's coming up. We thank you. This is my time, thank amen. You. Paul thank Kelly. you so much for having us. We appreciate you. Thank you. Yes, sir. We love you. Amen. This is our time. God bless you and God bless this nation. Stay tuned for another episode of Jerry Rose Live. Inspirational Prayer. Thank you. Thank you. All right, family. Thank you for tuning in to Pastor's Time. That's right. Pastor's Time. And PTI Bible College. This message was brought to you by Pastor'sTime.com. So go out there and check out affordable and high quality institution. That's right. That's Pastor's Time. PTI Bible College. Just contact Dr. Kelly at Pastor's Time at Yahoo.com or go out to the website at Pastor's Time.com. All right, y'all. Stay tuned at 10 o'clock. I'm, yeah, 10 o'clock coming up. That's right. Inspirational Treasure with Shalonda Y. Wim. That's right. It's going to be awesome, y'all. Amen. So share this file. It's power in the word. That's right. Power in the word. How in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Cannons. Thank you, Apostle Vero and Tara Smith. Thank you so much. 
appreciate you guys. Don't forget about last call, y'all. Song coming up. It's called Victory. Number one on the chart in the DMV. Here we go. Hey, hey, hey. My name is Davis and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21. Jerry Walsh Live, worldwide. Humble, young man, humble. Woo! This is Jarrell Golden of Holy Ground Music Group, and you are listening to Jerry Royce Live, worldwide podcast in Charm City. A quick question. Can you feel the power? Now we're here to encourage you to walk into your new season, a season of freedom and a season.